Hey guys, welcome to Caragon Reviews episode 3. Obviously, uh, this one's a little bit delayed because of the major and bootcamp, so yeah. Um, but it's time, and this time I have again two demos from you guys who sent in. Uh, this time it's Eliso and Lunil. Um, hopefully there's gonna be some great moments and I can give you some tips on, on how to be the next major champion, maybe, you know. Uh, even though it's one year ago, that happened for me. Um, but overall, remember, you can still send in demos. Uh, it should be down in the description down here on the Skin Club website and you upload your demos. And then uh, maybe you get a chance for me to review a demo. So yeah, let's head into the first demo. Eliso. Um, as I see, it is gonna be Inferno. Um, hopefully some some tips and tricks for this guy. And um, obviously, um, let's head into it. He's starting T side with a Glock. That is some... That's some speed. So this looks like a team. It's like a team practice. Miopa versus Jordan team. Fake A, Rush B, he's the anti-fragger here. Running in. Bam, headshot, take space, good run path, don't clear sight, but uh, teammates will do that. He's taking, it's good space taking. Has the teammate baiting for him? Oh, you see, they play off each other here. And they don't expect him to be that fast. Well played. Well played. Start the game with four kills. The bomb is in here, but it's gonna be alright. As I say that... Okay, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good, right? It's not all good. Let's go. Let, let's go back in time here. Why are we not going A together? So this is the scenario where you would like to split A, in my opinion. Like you're sending two guys long here. If you wanna go B, you should have this guy already peeking B, so you know they're not pushing B and they should be in CT now. Yeah, because if this guy spots now, they will go A. Because of that situation, he spots them now. Now you now you go A bro. Now now you turn around. Someone behind you and rush A. That's why they speed up here and run into one guy. Ah, rough rough day at the office I would say. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He punches himself in. So hard to do that effectively, Paragon. Always leading by example. Meanwhile. Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. Not, not a scared guy, huh? The way he's running a bit. Oh, that's a problem with the bump here. They don't bite this fake, do they? Okay, to be the come. So here is a classic mistake even i see it happen sometimes pro game do not light up your molotov you see here this gives a huge sound cue now when you light up molotov like this they can hear it on the b side it's a small thing but it can force a rotation uh good to fake it but if they're closer inside they will definitely hear the molotov this sound they can enemies here so, uh, just to show a combo for you here, uh, what you can do is actually smoke in CT and then move to triple like this. I don't know where the motor is supposed to go, but it looked like you want to move to triple. And that way you can actually support your team as good with uh, a combo here. So you just go and line up here and move to triple or the other op opposite way. As I saw, there was a gap in the smoke as well. If you even want to be even nicer, you can even offer this flash and you do it like this. So it goes behind the roof here and so your team is in there not full blind so if you're not sure how to line up I guess you can so you can line here maybe so yeah that's a nice little combo for you to help your teammates out three on five with glocks and one orb Peter 50 oh, that's a duel if I've ever seen one okay is there something we can maybe help here to improve yeah, this is this is the duel you would like to take with no HP and no armor. This headshot angle is actually uh, really good. But it's like, I know he loses the duel now, but still, you don't want to have a chance for them to give you body shots. 
I feel like a bit lazy the way we're going around corners here. Where did his teammate? Especially when there was one in there was one in apps. Did we know about this guy? When your teammates killed a guy here in apps, you want to be more careful the way you check. Like he's not even checking boiler behind himself, right? So what you would like to do is either you you clear this angle first. And then your shoulder peak, I guess. I'm not that much in boiler, but you need to go with one of the duels, and there's a bigger chance he's sitting here <clears throat> than sitting, for example, here. Like nobody's holding apps like this, so that's why you wanna check this angle first. And maybe you can show his gun barrel, so this guy is maybe shooting, and then you can peek him good. So our guys are like, a, I think he's the boiler player at this point. It looks like he's the guy going up mid, also sometimes coming banana. Oi, oi, oi. He got two. Let's just enjoy enjoy this for a second. What a... What a curved grenade, bro. Impressive. Let's enjoy this. I need my editor to do this in slow motion. Woof. Go in. Get in the guy in the back. How much damage did I give, actually? It made 50. Hats off for you, bro. Uh, in my opinion, uh, risky, but two kills in the back. We take those in the day. Need to check corners. Molotov, what are we doing? What are we doing? We do them. Going back. What's the decision now? Who smoked shots from them? Right. Now we'll run back to B, yeah, obviously. Oh, this panic, man. Ah, it's double fake. But I know reason to throw this smoke as well. Now would be nice to have a smoke. Are we going long? No, 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 guys. We need to go short here. Why are we going long? So here, here is a theory, right? You're faking B. Meaning, if there was going guy long, he's gonna be in this area. And then he's gonna come back here and maybe catch one. So if you fake B that late, and it's a 4 and 3, you want to go up short and you just want to trade that. Because now, you know that that should be 1A, but the guy might come in time to kill the rotation. So let's see how this round plays out now. In my opinion, you should just run focus up short here and just trade the one guy and be fast on time. So the fake itself, the double fake was good. Fake A, fake B, run back to A, but don't go long here. Hopefully it doesn't cost. They're walking now. They're not walking. Guys, don't walk, man. You fake B now. And nobody's looking at library now. And this guy. Oh my god, if this guy if this guy actually kills this this one. Let's see, he's in I. I just wanna know. I think he let the first guy slip, no? Oh, he didn't. Oh my god, if he took a better angle, he would actually get double kill around B over. Good trade on for Meliso here, but definitely just rush up short together. He can't kill four guys. You can kill two and then you trade him, it's two and two, you have after plan. Good scenario. Pre-H, now it worked out, he strafed mid so much, they really like to smoke up short. So how are we checking long now? We have a Molotov, are we just going? We're going straight, right. Yeah. All that, what can you say? So good. All right, let's wrap up the T-side here. I feel like um, the awareness uh, when checking in apps, checking corners, um, should be improved. Um, the, obviously some of the grenades on B is not on point, um, the boiler jump couldn't be improved, um, overall I like the speed, I like the way um, it is so uh, you refragging, and um, I think obviously the round where you're faking A, faking B, go up short, uh, but that's a team decision, but also uh, player wise if you're going first short everybody follows you maybe, um, besides that, um, I mean 15 kills, what can you say, right? Uh, I think some good kills in there. Um, but yeah, there's okay, always room for improvement. Um, so definitely working the nades on B, that looks very uncomfortable for you there. And um, the boiler jump you need to hit. Um, can't always go up. So that's something for you to, to step up on the T side for. Alright, let's go to CT side. What do we gonna store? Pistol round. He's a B player. Full USB echo. Mm -hmm. 
Oof. Are we staying here with grenade? Yabba 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 da. No 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 no. We cannot stay like. We cannot stay like this. If an orb comes, you're dead. If an orb comes, peek here, you're insta dead. Or goes top wood, you're insta dead. The way we're playing. No 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 no. We cannot do that. Oi 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 oi. No no no. Yeah. Not good. But also, your teammate is not on the same page with you. So I will show you an idea to an anti-rush you can use for your teammates. The guy here would, um, the guy supporting would come here, uh, Molotov close, and insta line flash up like this, and then uh, one guy close here can either smoke deep or listen, and then call the flash and peek if they went fast, and if not, there's different ways to do it. So the the guy going out could insta smoke. Uh, listen that they deny and then call flash if they're rushing and peek and if nothing happens call the flash go out and Molotov here and then uh, if you want to be uh, real uh, So the first guy like the supporting guy would do the Molotov like I said come here have two flashes maybe flashing here when they call it and then he can go over here and uh, Line up this flash in the gap here. So when this guy is um, Molotoving deep he can then uh, Peak with this flash that lands up here while the Molotov is still up, and when it's uh, stop burning, call the flash and push down with the Molotov burning. So that's a way you could play uh, anti rush and still take banana uh, pretty safely. That's hard, alone on B with a pistol. Oof! Oi oi oi! Nice shot, first shot though. Had a chance? Okay, how are we taking banana here? Yeah, okay, that's Molotov's fine. Then. What are we doing now? From Heichi, Molotov burning, going back. So this I don't understand. So we deny, your teammate denies Sambex. And now you're smoking. Your teammate is holding the angle, so we should... Wait, do he go blind? No. Uh, you used two smokes on B already. It's uh, a very dangerous territory to hold B now, but let's see. It's very hard to be, so you call your teammate over. He does have an orb and a smoke, but you need that smoke. Now you are in a... Oh, you, you. What grenades do we have here? A flashbang. But that ain't good. But you guys need to clear pool now with the smoke up. You guys have to clear this, clear this pool area. The longer you stay free guys there, the worst it is. Oh, nice strafe though. Now, now you do it together. That's good. That's good. You bait. The other guy's baiting and you're pushing. Love this. Oh, all rotation. But well, they're not even up mid yet. Uh oh. So I don't have a smoke seat. It's all good. It's all part of the plan. Good shot. All in position. One in the end. Our time ran out. Didn't pay attention, there was a strong one. Alright then. Boots of close. Now we're holding something. Nah, 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 nah. What, what is that stress supposed to do? No. No, 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 no flashes like this, please. We're better than this. We're better than this. We No flashes. Not like that. Bana Ooh, banana attack. Full blind from what? That's why I don't like this flash, uh, this model. Like, you're trying to spin it, I'll show you after. So now this anti-rush would have been perfect perfect again, because they would deny and they would rush in. So how are we handling this now? Okay, okay. Flash about teammate, okay, flash in front, and peek. Peek, 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 yeah, good, they're stopping. You blocked them. It's all good. Hmm, grenade, okay. So now, the time when you're flashed here, the Molotov here is... Very strange, so if you want to throw Molotov from close, you can just use this and throw it. Um, instead of running like this, it's just way faster to do like this. And you are in a better movement position to fall back. So yeah, what you could have done here is um, very classic. Uh, when you want to play passive B, the second you get blind, uh, just do a right click smoke. And that smoke creates so much... Um, 
problems for the T. Now this is not the best smoke, like there's a set smoke obviously from here where you can do one way, should be on YouTube. But even uh, when you get blind here, just clicking the smoke here, creates you so many more options that you can jump top here and have one way like this. So a passive smoke in this scenario, you get blind and feel like it's B, um, is way better because it makes you able to, to breathe in this spot where you're very locked in here normally. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, he got him. Now your teammates stole him. Right. So this round of rounds where... Is the bomb T-Ramp? No. The bomb is actually T-Ramp. Did we not realize? We actually... They must have realized at this point, no? The 2B players. Okay, what are... How, all right, that's the demo. Um, 21 kills, a lot of um, impact kills in, in that sense. To wrap up the CT side, um, I show you the new anti rush, um, which you can start in when you think like the, the enemies are gonna play um, aggressive banana. Then um, I think what you did good was. Um, Playing the retakes and getting the kills uh, rotating up, especially last round, you're winning the, the game there. Um, other than that, I think there's room for improvement with the Molotov close. Um, also have a, like a set setup where you have the passive smoke I showed you, where I right click. Um, but one key thing, I think we're all in the city side of Inferno, it's really important that you don't waste too many nades without getting anything returned from the T's. But all, uh, I mean, uh, almost top fracking, you know, 21 kills, um, played a good game, so yeah. Uh, also uh, keep grinding and um, try to address some of the small things I pointed out, I think there's always room for improvement. Um, but you guys are on the right track, you, you beat this team and hopefully you... Keep grinding and uh, see you in some tournaments maybe someday. someday. So, on to the next demo, which is Lunil123. So, thank you for sending your demo and congratulations, I guess, on a carry game review. So, uh, let's check out uh, what he has in store for us. Let's see, he's a B player Mirage. Now, that I have played a lot in my career. So, I don't know how many tricks I want to give away here, but what are we, what are we doing here? E -e -e -e. Nice shot, that's what we're doing. Going backside, yeah. Playing off teammate, boom. Good shots. Three shots. <laughs> Round of applause. Let's enjoy that one more time. First, we don't know what we're doing. We uh, jump a little bit around and say, okay, let's, let's play some CS. Bam. And then we go backside, which I love to do. If you can get there, it's the best position. Backside, boom. One shot. And then obviously he wants to go for the fourth. I don't blame him. Fantastic play. That's always a bonus point. He buys an M4 and a HE. Jump spot. Yeah. Little high jump spot. Yeah. But that's fine. We don't respect Lux. It's all good. Are we going to jump up on peak? Yeah, we are. Going to fight him. When you can get AC kills on B, you better take those. Get in some confidence because it might be quiet on B side. So, yeah. Isolate him. Are we going to fight him? I like the confidence we're gonna fight him. What are we doing? Oof, okay. Confirmed information. Blind. Got back safe. First kill. Ooh. Smoke it off. Yeah, nice. Well played. Where the HP come from? Ah, okay. How much HP did it have? Ah, uh, he had one HP. Alright. A little shaky damn beginning. Did he get his teammate to smoke B ups? So, this is good. Could it be better? The smoke could definitely be better, but it's fine for now. I have to be careful in this scenario, uh, but I don't know how much information it's giving on this point. That you don't walk as the smoke is fading. Gonna fight with a good Molo, yeah. Make the guy uncomfortable on the bench. He's burning, he's burning, he's burning. Oh, 6 HP. And then kill him in the end. Let's enjoy the kill. Jump kill. Alright. So far, not much to say. Maybe I can... Uh, I'll show you after. If there's something. Is team at Molotov for him? Oh, the boost. That's not how you want to boost. That I can show already now. So, the way to boost fast in B-apps, my dear friend Lunil. I think... 
the second you go down the step here, let me check. See, it's way faster than the other way where you crouch. So, um, what you want to do is, let me see, you go in between the shadow and this. Shadow and this, now there's a butt here, shadow, but if you come in here, stand still. If your teammates, it's his fault if you can't jump until we hit. And your teammate will have gotten the insta kill for free. So that's a small thing, um, just a small detail for everyone playing with Rush B that uh, to use this boost. I saw was um, the way you're jumping B is way high. Like, I don't often die to knob, but I died deadly. Uh, died in an important game because I jumped uh, too lazy. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. I think there is uh, this one where you know B is clear. I think you're lining up like this. Wait, let me see. I don't like this that much because the orb can in theory kill you, but you can jump like this and get free info in the in the gap. If my editor will zoom deep in there where I'm shooting. So that's a gap for them to see when they're crossing. The other one I'm doing is uh, if you want to completely safe, you can draw, you can aim up like this. And when you go up, you jump. You are literally hard to kill. Um, so that's a way you can always line up safe. Um, but yeah, you have to spot B earlier because the way you're playing B, you're, you're coming in the back here. And in theory, what could happen is the enemies will close over the here and walking close. So yeah, that's one way you can be better to maybe jump spot B so far, what I've seen. After he boosted you, let's see. Can we make something cool? Oh yes, we can. So he boosted you here, then... Let me see. That definitely works. We have created something new. So boost here and uh, let me see if there's a lineup specifically. One step forward. Yeah. You see, this just popped up in my mind while doing the swing. So um, yeah, I have a move for you, Linel. Only for you. Nobody else is going to see it. So you're going to have a teammate boosting you here. You're going to run up with MP9. Um, go fast in here. And then after he boosted you, you tell him gonna do the smoke and what you can do is uh, aim, there's something grey here, go down here and he does one, one step for you. Yeah, the smoke might need perfection, but uh, the idea is here, so far so good, he has done his job on B, but is the peak coming out talked about? Look how fast he is because you're that late. But one way to always stop this uh, close BF guy is to come here and molo stuff like this and then you can even do it like this, nade behind the molo and then go up with your orb here and then you know you can peek behind the molo like this and you know he can't be close wall already. If you molo stuff like this, it's stopped him from going here and you're able to see them maybe behind the fire. Literally the CTs can't be, uh, the T can't be anywhere. So. What you want to do is when you come here, you just aim like this on top of that. And then for the HE, you need to have a feeling. I have a feeling, but now I'm going to fade it. Okay, it's good. You nade behind the molo, and if he was there, he did chip damage. What else you can do is um, uh, do the deep molo, and then you can uh, flash like this and go up with up and take a peek. To wrap up the CT side, I think you played it good. Uh, I think you had some good moves. What I think you can prove on is the boost. Do some crazy about that with the uh, with the boosting better, so your team will get a kill. I think you lack a little bit of variation of how you block B in the beginning. So Molotov close, uh, you smoke sometimes, so your teammate did. So yeah, uh, more of that, and then sometimes throw deep HG to to kind of block the things. I think the jumping part you can do better or have safer way to do it. So if there's if you play against a good orber, you might get picked off there. So um, besides that, I think you actually played. Uh, Great CD side, uh, good awareness, uh, I think you aim good, um, but it seemed like you had only one way to play B and there's a lot on fighting top camp balcony and, and maybe to try to, if you're playing B for many years like me, maybe um, use some off angles as well. And on top of that, what a crisp pistol round from you. So yeah, let's T, T side if you still impress me. Peter 50, so this is a pistol king, okay, he gets Peter 50 armor. Now you need to deliver boy. And now you, oh, you're taking fights, I love this aggressiveness from Peter 50. Little too much maybe, I think you want to take uh, longer duels here, but I like the speed, I like the, the confidence taking it. But th this here where you want the clock, in theory. But yeah. Nice shot. 
Good shoulder picks, good crouch pick, really aware, good pre-aim. I like this walker beeps. So he's an abs lurk. Abs player. Oof, good shot. Going out, using his grenades, creating some space. I like he's trying to use the nades for something good and they're actually working out. I mean, you can use the nades different way. You could smoke top gun, you could do a right click smoke one way for your Molotov stairs, uh, but Molotov gun was good. So we definitely need to work on the top mid smoke. That is a huge problem. So I'm noting that down. Top mid smoke twice now where it is bad. Yeah, this guy's free info. Nice refrag. This video was really good. So, smoking now. Molotoving again. Beautiful uses, grenades usage. Isolated dual. I swear to god, you. I think 9 or 10 times you have that. Malaga. Good grenades usage. And not something I often see in these demos. There's a heavy mid fight going on. Is he gonna realize that from his teammates' communication? I think he is because he's about to go out, I feel like. So now. The kill happened on short, kill happened on window, you got A. Yes, perfect. Taking the time, taking it good. Still taking it fast, but taking it smart. There's team come up Khan, and round over. That's how Lurk should play. I don't have much to say on the T set here. You're balancing pretty good. Are you taking this good and cautious? Oh, he is aware. Something fish is going off. Yep. No, 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 no. <gasps> That's also one way to do it. This smoke you have to respect. But I love the confidence walking through it. Man. Beautiful. Glocks. Peter 50. 15 13. So going with it. Maybe he's getting a flash now. And peak. Ah. Nice entry. Good flash from teammate. Bomb is in T spawn again. Or top mid. The charge is good. The round escalates. We don't have bomb to figure out now. Honestly, I think this guy played great. He knows his nades. He's using his nades smart. He's pushing here. It's an impossible round. But he did his best. Honestly, I have nothing to say on the T side. I already wrapped up the CT side. I think the small things uh, for you to do on B side uh, to improve on. T side, I think you actually played good. I mean, uh, took some good duels, were really smart, uh, reacted on teammates uh, in mid when you were lurking A, when we rushed apps. So you, you were holding stairs and then strafing CT when they were fighting with the CT guys and then back into apps and used the smokes and grenades at the same time I would. So I think you're actually a pretty smart player. I mean, uh, what can I say? Um, maybe you have a rough day you could send a demo. Or maybe you really failed at this game. I mean, you had 26 kills, so I think you played really great. And um, keep grinding. I mean, uh, not much to say to that T side. I think it also looks like it's uh, a face it uh, puck, but... Um, on a higher level, it looks like at least. People shooting hard. So yeah, um, thank you for sending a demo and hopefully you can use some of the stuff I told you on the CT side. I have played B Mirage for, for many years now. Um, so yeah, thank you for sending your demo and uh, it's just great to see that uh, the high level you delivered in this demo. For everyone else out there, if you wanna send in your demo, good or bad demo, doesn't matter. Um, I was trying to find something to help to improve you guys and um, one thing, the top mid smoke. Um, so yeah, the one thing I can show you though is uh, the top mid smoke, uh, which you failed some two times. So uh, you smoked uh, twice here where the enemies had the full control. So the way I smoke top mid, um, I'll show you when the other smoke's fading. So yeah, the POV the Oba had in that round was like, can basically see nobody's island, which shouldn't happen. So Lunel, on your T side, that's the only thing I have for you. Uh, at this point is uh, top mid smoke and just jump out the trash can here and aim here next to whatever crush there you have obviously um, and there should be a bit of top mid smoke no gap left, left side and they cannot see you jump island so yeah something for you and obviously you can use the smoke for short 
But maybe you didn't want to use it, but uh, I think it's always good to block the enemy's POV. As you can just flash above and the guy doesn't know if you cross the island or not. Uh, besides that, if you're interested in your demo, uh, there's a description and link below where you can send in on Skin Club's website and upload your demo. And maybe you're the lucky one to get a character review. And like I said, sorry guys, this one's a little delayed. And um, then I'll do the next one uh, after Washington. Um, which is going to be in the player break. So you guys are up to date with the character reviews. So yeah. Thank you guys and peace out and enjoy your day.